move. Complete. Looks like that allowed to move 10 meters. Yeah, our, our ship moves complete, but uh, we're just moving now. If anything, the current's coming at me. I'm What's that? If anything, the current's coming from the north. Yeah. So I think off to the right somewhere. A couple ROV links away. Okay. Yeah, to the right of those rocks, maybe. Yeah. yeah, right there. That should give us enough room. Yeah. Ready to land? Uh, let me just get make sure Dirk's okay. Dirk, we're gonna uh, set it down here, all right? Be all right with that? Uh, let me just check. Um, yeah, that's a good spot. Right here. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So fill your boots. So that's just up from everything. Um. You can actually, if you want, land on the rock so you're not in soap. But so. Yeah. Over to the left. Go ahead, launch. Uh, right there, it's fine. All right. Yeah. I like that spot. Just you were up, fun. up a little bit up to up the right. Up a little bit to the right. Can I do that? Okay. I'll, yeah, no problem. Right here? Uh, forward a little, maybe. Forward. You can land on that rock right there where the uh, enemy is. All right. Hmm. I think I'd come past the rock. Perfect. Works for me. Oh, I thought that's what you wanted. I thought that was what you said. Works for me. Okay, you want to, um, you'll have to relax your jaw. I, yeah, right. Pretty an enemy. Sediment yeah, cloud. Yeah. Did you relax your herc hydraulics jaw? Oh. Look at those happy little worms. Because I've got it locked over here. And so if you uh, back <laughs> all the way home. back for me. Yep. Uh, probably not. I just like to think they're happy. <coughs> I can run the, uh, man I can run the uh, mango one. Okay. Probably the most yeah. excitement they've ever seen. <laughs> Danny's got mango. Oh. Yeah. Trio this. Uh, no, I'm good. I rigged it all so I know how I want to. Uh, do this. Rack all the way back. Right, do it. Apologize, yes. Okay, I'll just get you over to the aux platform since you've never seen it. It's, I remember there being some tricks there. And then once not. we're lighter, we should look at the, the beat bags, where's the, 
this is one place you can sit that's low enough so you can grab these things. But if you sit anywhere in here, you're going to have a really hard time to reach down in. So there's like a few spots that you can sit. Just bump the porch you, here. You essentially showed up as we more. came to the bottom. <laughs> we just touched down on the bottom. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I hope AJ doesn't show. <laughs> no, but I want to. I have a chair with a hole in it. <laughs> with a hole in it? It makes it challenging. To yeah. See how slow the craft arm is moving, Danny? This arm is itching to go. Yeah, it really just wants to reach out and touch something. Yeah, I'm it's like, trying, get me in there, coach. <laughs> trying to reach out and touch that little nub in there so I know when I open my jaws, I'm going to actually grab it. Bingo. AJ, while they're doing that, I'll give you the rundown on this, which is really cool. This is like the, the coolest thing of digital stills thing. Pretty much, your, tr your target is to try and match what is going on on the screen in terms of color, because they've got their color set pretty good. So you're playing around with the ISO, keeping this as low as you possible can, and then playing with these guys to make a low ISO work is kind of the key. So keep this always kind of low, like in between this and like 800. And then you're playing with this, this between 1 over 30 and 1 over 60. And then you're just kind of tweaking this and you want the histogram to be kind of in the middle. This is, um, this is just takes really good pictures through a digital camera. And it's, it's cool for, I mean, unfortunately JPEGs are pretty bad compared to the raw pictures, but it, it will be way better in the actual pictures. And they turn out really cool, and they're actually useful, especially when you're flying over stuff, to take pictures, and it gives you a really good layout, high depth. It's nice. And play with that, but don't, don't have it too light. So the really cool part about this is going to be when we're at faulty towers, and you're going to have opportunity to take some really good snapshots of tube worms and things like this, but don't blow out the picture, you go autofocus, and then snap the picture. Okay, yeah.
Now we got Martin. Nice. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah. Video, can you zoom in a bit there for me? Are you, uh, are you wrecked out, Jake? Yeah, I'm wrecked out. That's good, thanks. of it is. That's such a cute monkey fist. <laughs> I wonder where that came from. So wee. It's the arm spazzy, not the operator. Always the arm. <laughs> Never there. Scott Parkinson's makes it even more challenging. Okay. You saw the pull pin pull, right? Yeah. Is it, um, is it this knot that's not pulling through? Yeah. Okay. There you go. Gotta use a monkey fist. <laughs> you're very <laughs> insist if you're incest, right? Do you want me to follow you back? No, uh, you can go wide now, yeah, thanks.
bringing the monkey fist home. I paid money for that monkey fist. I'm <laughs> not leaving it there. <laughs> it's lucky. Store in between the gas states. <laughs> um, Conversion. Oh, well, you know what? Change my mind. Uh, I could leave it here, but let's put it in the uh, starboard box. So, AJ, one thing, one thing. Hits, uh, oh, look it? at one breakfast, just bread. Bread and peanuts. I'm oh, sorry, that's an two. Awful breakfast. two. Oh, nope. three. Three. Cages. One of them. Cages are good. So. <laughs> Just, just can you, keep in mind uh, slide the box open where they've got it. We just have to make sure that it's not the broadband's not left there. That's right at the pinnacle of a rock, so it needs to either go oh, further out or in or somewhere else. But it's sitting on top of a rock right now, and where it might roll off and cause us a bunch of problems. So I'll just I'll just go through the next step, and then you can take over. Right in the toy box. Yeah. Uh, I might pick up these tie wraps too. I'm going to get them out of the uh, bundle here. Can you use them back in for me? Let's make sure they're all loose because they should be all cut. Well, they have to be because the rope went through all of them. But I see a little rope there still. If you lay them out right, you can leave a message. <laughs> uh, I can pick them up later if I want to. <laughs> well, Dan just like showing off his ability for the arm. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. That's how you learn how to do it. You watch someone else do it well. Right? Don't say that, and then I'll wind up <laughs> doing something silly. Well, that's also how you learn. <laughs> Don't do this. Just keep learning. <laughs> yep. Every opportunity is a learning opportunity. Well spoken. Oh, this is this is this is great to watch. <laughs> satisfying. Very delicate work. Mm -hmm. There's some hope for this gas state, or after mm. all. Is, that, is there still a yellow rope in there somewhere? Uh, it's kind of fallen over the back end of it, I think. Or the far side. It should have come out with the... Uh, I saw it drop over the back. Yeah, I did too. There yeah, it so is. I don't know. It's there, yeah. Mm. Just it's behind. It's attached to that little orange pull tab. Yep. Also waited. No trash pile for later recovery. <laughs> uh, we, yeah, we could recover it now, but you can put all that junk in the box if you want. Yeah, it's gonna just fall out every time. Yeah, uh, when we go to get something else out. I'm okay. Worried. What I'm, gonna I'm do now, about yeah, yeah. what I'm going to do now is, uh, I know you're worried about it, uh, zoom out video. I'm going to transfer the load from the port arm to the starboard arm, and uh, I'll gently set the seismometer down in the uh, Okay, yeah, in great. The dirt. It's perched on the rock there just to keep it uh, from swinging. Yeah, perfect. <coughs> Always show your logo whenever possible. I can find the right button. I think it's this one. 
I can look up a little at the camera if you want. Jake. So um, if you are on your phone, AJ, Martin is awake at and Queenswood watching. Retract so. the porch here. I'm sure he'll be happy to help out with this. You're all the way extended? Are you sure? No. I was all I was retracted back. All right. Well, okay, you don't have to be all the way out, but right. it's somewhere in there is good. Yeah, there's a swimmer. the uh, little tilt of the jaws there just so when I do open them I can see as opposed to that where mm -hmm. I cannot. Mm -hmm. They still spring open really fast. Nav, can we take a mark of this position uh, and label it temporary new BBS? Absolutely. Thank you. Yeah, and then we could probably should mark this as a good future temporary position. Because otherwise they're always looking for a new spot. With that nice rock there for perching. Yeah, Jake landed on that rock. Uh -huh. So he's not down in the mud. Jake Rock. Jake's Rock. Jake's Rock. Yeah. He's got a few. <laughs> Forgot temporary position. Call it Jake's Rock. <laughs> Jake's Rock. <laughs> we're gonna. They'll we're know gonna, what it means. It's uh -huh. uh, good to mark this because we're gonna come back here for our toys, right? Yeah. Does this rope sink or is this? It you, sinks. This is your <laughs> famous lead-lined rope. Yeah. Sinking line. Yeah, they buy this special with lead in it. So. Oh, it's kind of there. Yeah. I'm ready for a grab in uh, some amount of time. Can we um, just want to zoom in in this kind of area, general area here, to make sure these cables are uh, tied together so that we're not just pulling one. I'm pretty sure they're a bundle, but just a visual. Yeah, there was some in it here. Let me stow the uh, weapon here. That way we know if we have to grab both or one connector. Um, those cables are, we'll have to grab both connectors. Okay. So the, I look, I, I, uh, Dirk and I stuck it on the porch there. Yeah. So, um, the one that is on the left, the ODI that's up against the rock, that you can goes, zoom video. Uh, that goes to the, that's good there. Zoom okay, out, yeah, zoom that's out good. a bit. So that's a good bundle. So uh, right now the green one is kind of tangled up in the ODI. Yeah. So the ODI goes to those all those black cables, and they're excessively long, so they're all bundled up. You can see just above the um, 
black potting compound, a little bit of black tape. So there's two coils inside of the green bundle of cables. And then there is, uh, and those are attached to the ODI connector, the, the black bundles. So they're attached pretty close yeah, to, okay. the, to the uh, ODI connector. And then of course the one-off uh, connector on the, uh, with the hockey, hockey pucks on it <coughs> is the green one. So we'll have to pick them both up. They're coiled up, back coiled in such fashion that we can pick them both up and um, fly them over to where they need to be connected in. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. And uh, yeah, hopefully the uh, we can do that from here. We'll have to do that before obviously we move the sphere because the sphere cables, as you can see, it's you know on the bottom, right? Yeah. So we'll have to. So the idea is here is that we would pick these up. The sphere is kind of pen lift just a little, Jake. Hopefully the sphere is wedged against the rock there, and um, we can pick these up and then kind of float up and back and watch them as they pick up and make sure they don't get tangled, and that should then give us enough slack to then come back down, lay them out nicely, um, close to where we can plug them in, and then we can uh, come back, pick the sphere up, and it, if we can fly way up with the sphere and pick them up the other end and then move the sphere over. So that was the... Yeah, that, that makes sense. That was the grand plan, subject to change without notice, of course. Whether they uncoil all nicely is, you know, we didn't, we didn't try that on the deck, but Dirk assured me that they were <laughs> nicely back coiled. And someone, uh, someone assured me of that same thing, so... <laughs> Trust but verify, so I didn't ver verify yet. We'll do that. So see. Oh, you're still <laughs> in here. I thought you were AJ back there. Okay, so. so yeah, that's that was our grand plan, right? That was our grand plan, yeah. And uh, we'll both trust and verify right now. Uh, so now we can uh, go look around and do do whatever you want. Yeah, we we should be in theory. Yes. Uh, well, my Z bias is down. Um, we should. What's come that? Up. My Z bias is zero, so if I come I off stick lock, I should. Yeah. In theory, right, float yeah, up. yeah. So we need we need to do one thing now. Uh, Jake needs to test to see how badly I <laughs> <laughs> calculated our buoyancy. The buoyancy calculations. If we're correct, we should be at our normal, you know, 50 pounds, uh, positively buoyant, which should let us, you know, get real close and friendly with everything. So. Yeah. So as part of this, we're going to test this, and we're going to do a little bit of flying, too? Yeah, you yes. wanted to go inspect some stuff right now, right? The platform and da-da-da? No, we could just, I think if we're going to inspect, let's go have a look at the auxiliary platform and kind of plan our move there for where we want to get the cables to. And Yeah, yeah, agreed. agreed. And I'll see what we got. And I'll pass you over to AJ at this point. All right. Okay. Thanks, Dirk. Thank you, everyone. That's good. You can come wide video. Do Super jealous of your dive to come. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. Do we want to take this opportunity to do white balance again? Or uh, are we, you guys good with what's there? We can. I'm not. Uh, I don't. That's above my pay grade. <laughs> Now's the time to do it. If we're going to do it. How does it? looks like awesome to me. Mm -hmm. It looks good to it me. It does look good, yeah. And we, yeah. Reds. That's a red T handle on the right and a purple one on the left. Looks good. Kay. Yeah. Okay, Jake, you can. Uh, you must be racked back. I am. Yeah. So it's probably good to have that porch reference there. I got both the tips of the manips in yeah. the reference because we're going to use them again. So that's right. that's usually where I leave them. So you don't have to like you know when you get yeah. them out again, you know where they are. You don't yeah. have to pan the camera around. Uh, All you got to do is tilt down. All right, let's see come up. Out first. All right. See what happens. Yeah, if you just uh, go dead stick, it would be nice That's to see what the rate of ascent is. I am dead stick is. right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'm 
to take yeah. a minute. So ODI goes here, Fletcher goes there, and then what you've thrown on the ground has to go back into there as yeah. well. A letter, this letter, yep. come right. You can kick in out ahead if you want, but see yeah. what we got here. Three okay. meters a minute. Four. Who dreamed this up? Who dreamed this thing up? All right, no. dial it in. No, it's just this yeah, hole. You can Box dial those device and see what you got. Oh, no. 25, I would say. Yeah, that's where I'm going. 28. Nice. All right. I didn't screw that one up too bad. <laughs> well, that's uh, thanks to Trevor and his diligent work on the uh, ballast sheet. Uh, Dan, you want to do a log? Roger. Uh, no, I want you to do the log. <laughs> Spot back? Yeah, I uh, yeah, I just wanted to barf all that stuff off of there because I rigged it. So ROV, once you guys are happy, let me know and we'll go have a look at the auxiliary platform. Roger that. Roger. We're ecstatic. I'm out. Got it. Testing one, two. Jake, you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you. Excellent. Dust cloud. Uh, send double to the gauges. Roger that. So that's the auxiliary platform on the left and the BBS on the right. Yep. And this is what we're looking to inspect here. Yeah, okay. and we're going to want to pick an LZ so we can sit and work on it. There's a, a switch to turn it on and off on okay. one side. Oh, I see it. So yeah. we'll just get oriented. You're welcome. <laughs> I think the switch is on the left. Yeah, on the left side, that big round looking and thing. So if we can find a place to sit that gives us access, it looks like the connector's kind of in the way. But yeah. That spider crab down there, too. So where are we thinking of sitting, like, I'm in here? I'm thinking right in front of the pink, yeah, down there. There's an upward slope, so oh, probably... Too high up. Yeah. So probably right down in front of the connector. Maybe. Either on the cable or... If we might be able to reach if we, right on these rocks right here. Where is that? Um, right in front of the pink, or purple. Right here? Yes, if we sit there. So I just, uh, if, I, if I plate my, the corner of my... It might be up a little too high now. Okay. Um, I know this is the side to turn it off, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Let's see. <coughs> I think if you, if you can sit here and position yourself... Yep. Then you might be able to work on both the connectors and the battery. All right. Might be a little awkward with the right, but. 
Let's see. <clears throat> Can I get bubble back? For the, to sit. I'll make sure I'm not. Oh, I know that there is an ODI there. Yeah. It's not great. <clears throat> yeah. I'm thinking this corner here, maybe, but if I can just shimmy right up next to the connector. Yeah, I think yeah, I think you can sit if you can get right nice and tight. Yeah, I think we're staying just below the rocks. a little far to reach from here though. Yeah. I think we might want to come around to the right. It's okay if we sort of straddle that oily. Back to the right. Okay. Roger that. Yeah, I think anything to the left is going to put us too high. Yep. I see that. Yeah, I think right here. Roger that. Coming down. trying to yeah. get that battery switch. I think okay. we can do it. Oh. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's a good spot. This chair, it's really warm. I, that's not appealing. <laughs> All right, so we've already confirmed with systems that the port is off. Um, so we want to turn off the battery to this platform by rotating this uh, handle on the left counterclockwise. Okay. So you can see where that yellow monkey's fist is. So this monkey's fist will come up and towards you. Yeah, I'm just kind of sliding in the mud here for a second. I'm just trying oh, yeah, yeah. to get, yeah. get, get settled yeah. before I let go of the sticks. Okay, I think that's uh, still sliding here. Actually, it looks looks a little different from my photo, but I don't know what the monkey the monkey's fist looks like. It used to be tied to this bolt right here. Oh man, that's gonna dust it up. Do we need to swing the bolt counterclockwise? I think we yeah counterclockwise yeah. So it'll come up and over. Okay, that's gonna be uh, yeah. Fun. Let me know when I can uh, pull the minip out. Let me rack back. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you might be able to like go up and over instead of going in front of the camera. Yeah. That's kind of my plan. Okay. Yeah. Nice and slow. Thank you. Yeah. 
Um, do we have download lights that we could turn on? Oh, why is it? Oh, 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 we're blocking the Oh. Yeah, let's see. One second. I don't know if that's going to help or not. I could iris up a bit. Uh, it's not you. It's uh, Bubble that uh, doesn't have any light. Can I, can I just take out Bubble if they're on? <laughs> I don't think so. As you can see it. One second. Let's look at this. It could be soot. I didn't even get close to bubble. No, you didn't get close. You just lost uh, bubble cam. Just, um, did I hit um, the white bouncer? Just hit one again, maybe uh, reset it. Yeah. There we go. Okay, yeah, now you for some can... reason it auto. Oh. What's, what's going on here? It's doing it again. Can you just tilt down on the HD and we'll have them zoom yeah. in? Yeah. Let's do that. Okay, that's good. Video, can you zoom in for me? Zoom in. Okay, that's good. Oh, well, we need to get behind it. I'm gonna have to scoop it. Is it the? What are we going for? The monkey's fist or? No, no, the bolt. Oh, the bolt. So I'm gonna end up scooping it and kind of push it over. I don't think the platform is that no. heavy, so you might end up scooching the platform a little bit, but we'll see. If that happens, we'll reassess. Come on, Bubble, don't fail me now. Oh, okay. You can grab the bolt yeah. and rotate it around, Danny. There you go. Yeah, that looks good. How yep. much does this thing have to rotate? All the way to the other side. You're getting it. You're getting it. So it's 180 degrees. Bubble, can you scoot up? There you go. Thank oh, you. Why is it doing that? I don't know. It was fine until uh, Dan messed up. But Dan, can you <laughs> fix the uh, V? The uh, left stick is also dark. It's um. What? See the. It's bubble. Yeah, it's messing yeah. with the iris. The, the iris, right. yeah. It's closing. Stop using the left stick. <laughs> Can you zoom in video? That's good, thank you. Okay. Uh, zoom out. Oh, you're stealing it from me. Oh. Okay, good. I was going to fix it for I was you. just going to turn iris on the... What's that? Never mind. You got it. that. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta adjust my night vision now. <laughs> okay, leave the camera just like that. If you can, zoom in a little bit on bubble, if you can. Oh, come on, grab the bolt and rock it over. Slow and steady wins the race. Isn't that what you said? Yeah. Slow, smooth, smooth, fast. Well, you can see everything you need to see in the Zeus camera. I know, I'm working on it. Looks like you got it all the way. I don't know if you want to just 
really gently uh, just try to lift up that aux platform a little bit. I can. Um, video zoom in full. It should be resting yeah, against the white Delrin plate. On it looks like we're touching. Yeah. yeah, it does. Okay. Uh, zoom right. You want me to pick up the Yacht platform to... If um, you do, you'll create a giant dust storm. That's what I kind of figured. Okay, well then, it's fine to leave it. Um, the If you grab that, yellow's mon that yellow monkey's fist, if we zoom in, there will be a little uh, white plastic ring. And the idea is that that can be used to hold the switch down so that it doesn't uh, open back up again. So okay. If you zoom in and just pull up on that yellow, that yellow monkey's fist, I think you'll see what I'm talking about. Yep. Video, zoom in, please. Hook it onto the bolt. That's good, Dale. Oh, buried. Yeah, so that white ring. I think you got it. I think it snapped on there. I think it's just sitting up against the bolt. I don't think it's around the bolt. Yep, I'm just repositioning. Yep. Oh, yeah, I see. I'm going to look on the big camera from back here. I mean, now that you can see the... If you let go, if you slowly bring the monkey's fist down, is the white going to disappear entirely? Uh, I was just thinking you might be able to get the white ring with the parallel jaw. That's what I'm going to end up having to do. Yeah. You got the whole platform, I think. Yeah, you got the bolt. Yeah. Too. Yep, I got the bolt. <laughs> no, I'm not yeah. gonna get it with that. No, I don't think that, that grip's gonna work. Are you afraid that that's going to spin around? Yeah, I think that's the idea. I, I'm only really just willing to spend <coughs> a couple minutes on this, and then if we have to, we'll just if carry on without doing it. If you come down at that angle, Danny, you can get it. Are we going to come back and turn it back on? Yeah, at some point we're going to have to come back and undo this, so I don't know. You got it's it. just to prevent it accidentally. Oh, there yeah. you go. Nice. That's perfect. perfect. There we go. Glad that we stuck with it. Well done. <laughs> I just had to reposition yeah. my Come on, video. Okay, so now if we look over at our connector panel, so uh -huh. let's just take stock here. We've got the battery one on the left, which I don't think we want to touch. Then we have the one labeled 2BBS in the middle. Yes. So that is, um, that's the one that's to the old BBS that's currently plugged in. So we're going to want to demate that one. Uh, I think our next step is to unplug that. That's a weird receptacle cable, so it doesn't need a dummy plug. Okay. Okay. Do we have a dust cap?
somewhere on we, the porch? We do. It's in the starboard bio box. Is it, is it going to be hard to get to? It'll take a, a so rummaging around. Let's let's talk through this a little bit because yeah. it's not crystal clear to me at the moment. Um, the, I remember there's uh, we put something in the slidey one on the right. Yeah, the the bit that goes in the in the Fletcher on the right. Yeah. That's over. That's over by the new BBS that we brought down. That's that's one of those two cables that you right. have bundled. Right. Uh -huh. But why is there not one there now? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, I'm not quite sure. It might be somewhere on the ground nearby. I don't know. If Knocked out and on the ground, and we are going to recover this uh, existing instrument. Correct. Yeah. That's correct. So we'll have to figure out where that cable is. <coughs> so basically in the overall picture, we're going to unplug this and then pick up the whole cable and move it away. Yeah. Because when we, so we have to, when we deploy the new one, we have to obviously fly over here with uh, the new cables, right? So we don't want to. Yeah, I can fly over these yeah, fly to over then recover, them. right? That's right. So if we unplug these and then we can go and pick up the old BBS, we can clear, hopefully clear everything, the cable and the instrument, um, out of the area and leave ourselves, you know, a clean slate to bring in the new instrument cable and instrument. All right. And that way so we're not having to work around these old cables, not get tangled. Um. I would suggest that we, have we looked along the cable route from here to the old one, or the new one? i uh, sorry, the old one? From here to the old one? We haven't looked, but they are very, very close. I think it's just to the right. Yeah. Yep. You, we, like, we might not even need to move the sub, but we could probably, I don't know if the camera... No. <laughs> um, around, right? So if we unplug it and he just gently floats up and we kind of go back towards the the old one we can lay it down somewhere and we should then have to just move a few sandbags and we can pick the old one up and and move that out of the hole that's the general plan. yeah i think that's the general plan the only gotcha there is that there should be this fletcher plate somewhere um that we that we will also need to find and demate before we can pull this whole thing clear so yeah, we might have to do just a little bit of. But it's got to be in that white. Oh, I see it. Um, right? It's actually I see it in a digital still, Dirk. To, thank you, Dirk. It's actually just off to our left. So this ODI, uh, ba -ba, this ODI here, goes right to the Fletcher plate. There it is. Yeah, right there. Oh, okay, okay. So we'll demate that one on the left, and we'll and we'll uh, demate the two BBS on the right. But maybe what we can do is put that Fletcher plate back where it belongs, uh, like slide it into here, because that'll make it easier for us to connect the new one. Yeah. So when we do lift off, we're going to obviously have to have a cable in both hands. So think about how you're going to accomplish that, right? So maybe you stick that thing in where it's supposed to go, unplug that one, hand it to the Magnum, then unplug the last one with the craft and then lift off and go something like that. Yeah, yeah I think that makes a lot of sense. All right. I'm happy to see that our crab looks like it moved on its own. The crab. I think that's the same crab. At least the crab's okay. <laughs> the, the crab's got a good view of this operation. Yeah. Yeah. So we want to reach over and grab that Fletcher plate and put it in the hole? Yeah. So we're going to take, we're going to pick this up and we're going to slide <coughs> it in there. Okay. Okay, and that's going to be connect the uh, cable down? Yes. Okay. Um, are we able to pivot, Jacob? If not, I might be able to reach it, but it seems like it's very close to the edge of my... You, you can um, scoop the manipulator under the oily and then slide it up. Yeah. Okay. It's a legit technique. That's probably the uh, that whole orange oily is all going to come up with us, I reckon. Yep. I'll be extremely gentle with it. You can also do an open jaw grab and 
put the jaws open over the cable and twist the jaws so it kind of binds up in the jaws. And comes over yeah. without and closing them. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let me see what I can do. And if push comes to shove, you can go grip force one and grab the cable. It depends on AJ's patience level. So I'm reviewing over the dive plan, and it looks like later we'll be visiting the black smoker hot vent. So it's not just operations on this dive. Yeah, nice. Just move to your right and drape it right over that box. Follow, follow That's where I'm going. Follow you over. <laughs> it's hard if for him, Jake, if you keep moving the camera Check. like that. Okay. Be now. I find it disorienting. Okay. Every time you move it, it's because the manipulator is moving and you move the camera, it's like, yeah. you know, it's kind of like a video zooms in while you're trying to land. Yep. So I'm, I'm going to set this on the porch so I can grab it. Usually, uh, for me, if I'm operating the manipulator, I'll tell the pilot. Can you pan down? Yep. Exactly. So don't move the camera until mm -hmm. he asks you to. If you move it at a critical time, it can just like zoom in when you're trying to land, you can wind up crashing. I'm gonna set this guy down right here. Okay, I'm gonna go. Okay, pan up. Pan up. Tilt up, you mean? Yes, tilt up. <laughs> you sound like a scientist. <laughs> pan up. <laughs> I don't really want to put this kind of a bend in this cable, but... You uh, rotate your jaws at least. I'm going to have to go the other direction the cable wants to go. it out of the other connectors there for me, Danny. I'm just going to get yeah. caught up and wind up unplugging the, one of those. The one we don't want to unplug. <coughs> so it, it looks like we're going to 
once this Fletcher plate is slid in, then we're going to use it to demate, and then we're going to slide the Fletcher plate back out. The plate is what goes with the instrument. So if it's too difficult to slide it in, or I guess it's up to you guys to figure out which operation you prefer, we could use the other arm to try to demate these, and then we don't have to slide the plate in, demate it, and slide the plate out, if you see what I'm saying. Yeah, we have grabbed it before with the... Uh that may be the best op operation, just to get well, this angle. I yes and no. Well, let me, um, yeah. <coughs> um, it wouldn't be a bad option because we're going to fly away with it anyways, right? Yep, so exactly, yeah. yeah. Yeah, if I the like that. Fletcher plate's in the left, then it yeah, it can just stay in the left. Yeah, I like that. That's a good idea. I didn't. Uh, I was thinking we pick up the oily. Ooh. No, the oily is actually yeah. what goes to the JB. Okay, I'll stop, so Danny. Stays. I'll stop. Okay. Let's get the magnum out and um, do a handoff to the magnum. Okay. Can we uh, straighten out my view a little bit there, Jacob? Straight. Good. Look down a little more, Jake. I want to see the magnum come out. Make sure it's not smacking the cable up against the rock. <clears throat> Don't bring the shoulder right down. You bring the uh, wrist right. Leave the shoulder all the way to the left. Gotcha. I, f I forgot that was an option in, th in this arm. Seven function. With a big old long wrist. Big long beak on it. You can actually, le yeah, leave the shoulder up and, uh, yep. and left. It, actually, and you just bring um, the beak to the right. It gives you a good view right there. Put the big jaw on top. Big beak. Big bird. Turtle. Looks like oh. I used to have eyes painted on it, but Dr. Beller <laughs> did not like the <laughs> turtle look on the manipulator. So the oily doesn't have a parking, does it? The oily does. Where, where is that? The one we have uh, in the box? Yeah. So if we get yeah. the Fletcher plate into the left, then we can go dig around for the parking position and put it in our Fletcher on the porch. I don't know if we can do that while we're down here in the mud. Okay. What do you think, Jake? Is what? What is that? Porch buried too much right now? Well, there's a cable in there I can't see from here. Um talking about port porching like extending the porch out no we got it yeah see where you got the cable going through the Fletcher right now yeah Danny yeah you're gonna have to get it out of there before you unplug so maybe if you spin your wrist counterclockwise we're gonna come out of there you gotta get it off the front of the vehicle maybe I don't do. That's a good angle right there to put it in the jaws. It doesn't, it's not going to go in. I don't think he's going to want us to grab it by the... Uh, nope, I'm going to shoulder down. And elbow up. I'm going to bring the whole thing right. You have to grab the white plate somehow. I was going to grab the hockey puck if I could. Yeah. Hockey puck works. I don't think you can get the hockey puck in the... Just take a bite on the plate.
You have a closed jaws? No, no. Come out. Here, come I'll out a little bit. I'll close the jaws for you. No, hold on. Come wait, out. No, I'll wait. I'll wait. Okay. Wait. Come out, Danny. Yep. Take it out. I don't like that. I don't like it. I'm on the ODI. Now spin your wrist right a little. I'll have to come out of that part. Uh, if we spin the wrist around. Spin the wrist to the right a little. The, um, no, not that one. Craft. The craft. Put uh, it back where you had it and just spin the wrist to the right a little. That'll bring the hockey puck into it. You gotta point your jaws down. That's not gonna work, Manny. Point your jaws down towards the seabed. Yeah, more, more, more. Now put the plate in the jaws. Problem is, Danny, if you get it, <coughs> it you gotta have a good bite on it, and the uh, magnum will interfere with demating and mating the connector there. Well, that's why I was gonna put the hockey puck right in the jaws of the magnum. It won't. It, you won't be able to unplug it. That'll work. Grab. Grabbing. Maybe. Yeah, that works. Beautiful. See how close the jaws are to the weight thing? Yeah, that's yeah. why I was rotating to get it away from it. Okay, don't unplug it. Let go and yeah. uh, dig your uh, parking position out of the starboard box and stick it in the Fletcher there. Okay, bubble cam. <coughs> what is it, four? What is it, four? You see. Careful there. Yep, I nope. see. Uh, yep. Wrong one. Give me a second here. <laughs> You're making us all nervous back here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll switch over to camera. And I'll bump it out. We've had that, still that same plate, AJ. We, well, I don't know how many times tried to grab it with i got three different ROVs now on those hockey pucks. And it flexes like crazy. Sorry, it's, it's a difficult one to get okay. unconnected. The top left of the what do you mean, like just de demating just from the Fletcher plate? Or? Yeah, you'll see when we go to pull it off. Yeah. There's no good way to grab it. If you get it by the hockey pucks, it flexes and the jaws are too close to the connector and you can't demate it. And yeah, yeah. If you grab just the plate, it slides around. It's not. Well, I guess the. You can't the, make the screen bigger. If it's been down there for a long, long time, I guess. Right? Intended use cases in the flash. Uh, can itself, you give right? me yeah. the screen right here as one of those boxes? Here, wait. I think you can do this. Oh. Yeah. There we go. There you go. So, which one is the parking position? Top okay, left. Okay, I see it. Yeah. You can put that screen in front of you if you want, Danny. No, I'm, this is beautiful right here. H11 and whatever source you want.
the hockey puck on this thing? There is. Yes, see it. That's a curious fish. Yeah, it's a cusk eel. It's a fish in the family Opidiidae. Oh yeah, we saw one of those yesterday, didn't we? Mm -hmm. This one's pretty curious. Welcome. Show Megan Very how to curious. work that thing. Probably happy that we stirred up some uh, sediment. Um, Peter can also do Maybe it. there's some food around. Pete, can you put um, 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 an H11 uh, it's poor. Port bio box cam? Yeah, poor bio. You can do it. You got it right in front of you, Denny. Yeah. Hit H11. Yeah. Want me to come show you? The, none of that is here. It's there. Okay. I think it looks more fish than eel. That's because it okay. is a fish, oh. not an eel. The name is very misleading then. Yeah, it, it, it's a fish. It just has that long tapering tail, and mm -hmm. so whoever came up with common names said, oh, it's like an eel, <laughs> but it's not an eel. It's a fish. This one, it could be Barotherides, it looks like to me. Of course, my rope's hanging over there. there just, you're going to have to shake it off. You're kind of quiet over there, Megan. This is sort of a tense operation. I don't want to distract you. Sure. Nicely done. I'll bring it back to the dive. Yep, bring it back in. And sample tray in. Hopefully, you don't knock it off on a lock on the way back over. <laughs> well, nice and slow. Usually You'll feel it if you hit it. Ops. Try to be quiet so that the uh, operators can can concentrate. So the hockey puck side goes in first. Yep. But since this is like 100%, you know, ops. Oh. Well, it's a lot of quietness. Not what so I wanted to do. We're not talking. That's that's mainly because there's a lot of concentrating going on. Yes, definitely. <laughs> But there should be some excitement later when we go to the event. They'll be Can I have you uh, tilt down? Yes. Nice different community. If you have never seen an event Tilting before. down. There are specific uh, animals. Can you bring porch out? Mm, maybe a little. Mm, careful. Yeah. Yeah. Just a bump. Just a, bu a couple bumps. Like, just so I can see what I'm doing. No, nah, it's fine. Don't do it. Yes. Uh, camera, zoom in, please. Just a little. That's good. You can uh, set it on the porch if you want, Danny, and get a better grab. I think so I've got so it. Awkward. Just don't touch you the gas bubble? tights. I can bubble you. There, bubbled from the. He's been bubbled from the back row. <laughs> Boo blade. Boo blade.
Okay. I'm gonna get out of here. If you set it on the porch, turn uh, I can really get a better grip. Turn it 180 first, so the because the heavy end will fall off the porch. Okay, I'm all stop until I can see you again. You can uh, rack out just a touch if you want, Jake, and help him out a little bit there. And tilt down for him. Tilting down. Yeah, that's better. I was waiting for him to ask me. But <laughs> I was too. I lost. Can I almost can I forget that exists sometimes. So if you um, well, I was gonna say if you'd. Next time when you grab that, 90 from that, you can see when you slide in, because that way your jaws, now, right now your jaws may or may not hit on the Fletcher when you're trying to put it in. Make sure you're well on, yeah, that's never wrecking. There you go. More, more better. Can we bring the, we gotta bring the basket out more. Oh, too close you're to good the box. there. You're good there. So, you see how it has the little two that you were using as a reference to fly yesterday? If you bring it in towards the vehicle a little bit more, a little more, and then they'll land it on those two. And then the yellow. I'm in the gas tight, so yeah, I need well. to bring the basket out. If you move your arm away and put your pitch down a little, you'll be all right. I think, I think if he brings the porch out, it's going to be in the rock there. You can try, but if you just put it, land it, yeah. land it, yeah. come straight down there. Now just pitch down and it'll start going in. Use your pitch, maybe not your, your, your moving your whole arm. No, 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 no. I'm stuck in that right. thing. Come away. All right, Jake, see if you can put the porch out a little for him. All right. Bumping out. Yeah, run it out, see what happens. Moving the RV back. Right there, beautiful. How many tilt up, rack out? Or do you think you got it? He's got it there. There's no room for days. Nice. Beauty. Yeah, I just too 
lethargic all the way in like that. Yeah, sorry. I thought it when he porch. So sometimes you porch out and the porch moves. Sometimes you porch out and the RV moves. You might as well stay out there, Jake. Yep, he's stay gotta, out there. He's hmm? gotta, yeah, you're okay. just working with these cables for now. Yeah. So we're going to put that oily cable on the uh, end of that? Yeah, so Lucy, when you take Lucy off the white plate, uh, it can go onto the dummy. Okay, I'm going to swing my shoulder, my, not my shoulder, my wrist left. Elbow up. Got Lucy where you want her? Yeah, I think I got Lucy right there. <laughs> Lucy in the sky with diamonds. <laughs> Get Western with it, Danny. Give it a violent tug. <laughs> oh. That's okay. Alright, we'll go ahead to draw. Draw open. You don't want to do that, because then the other one will drop in the mud. Yeah. Oh, okay. I want to put it back in. Yeah, we'll you might be able to. Time. You might be able to rotate the jaw 180 and get the hockey Tighten puck it. in there, like you want. Yeah, it's not it's gonna. Not, it's not yeah. gonna come out like oh, that, Danny. Okay. It's not the end of the world if the white plate hits the mud. Rotate the uh, Magnum 180 and then try that. You might yep, get go it. Go ahead. If spin, you spin Magnum. If you. Um, get half the hockey puck, like not the whole hockey puck, as long as it's not touching the white ring on the... Actually, on I wonder if we can just stick, hold on, stop there. Yeah, that works too, if it's big enough. Grab. Draw close. Draw all the way in and locked. Lock draw, yeah. This plate is notoriously difficult in two minutes. Just one finger on it now. You swing here. Uh, I think I'm going to have to stick that swing plate. Let me swing the. Yeah. I think we have to stick that plate in the hole. But I think we'll drag that box around trying to do this. Yeah, well, we actually had to pin the box before with the plate in there, and then it slides back out. And there you go. It's a good either good way, it's a struggle. It looks like you're lined up there. You almost got to put a little in the bank with the uh, with the left arm because the yeah, plate flexes, I'm and then it's not aligned. Actually, um, Magnum? Yeah, what do you want? Uh, shoulder left. Okay. There you go. Beautiful. Bada boom. Real nice. So the priority is to keep that oily out of the mud, so into the parking position. I've never seen that one come apart that easy. <laughs> Never tried shoulder Just left. Just a little shoulder left. <laughs> <laughs> New pro tip. Remember that one. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Is that connected? Is that mated? Yes. We can oh. zoom in video. Looks like all the fins are in yeah. the end. Fins are in. Now you can throw Lucy in the mud, right? Yeah, that's right. Lucy can go on the ground, but we, so if we, let's just talk about these cables for a second. If you zoom out, we can try to get our bearings here. So Lucy and this orange PBOF, this is going to stay. And it's kind of, you can see it takes this weird path that kind of comes under the sub. The green cable uh, at the end of this plate, yep. if we clear that up to the top, this 2BBOS cable is also going to, like they come from the same, they both come from here. So this white goes to the instrument and it splits into the black cable that goes to BBOS and this green Falmat cable here. Okay. So eventually what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to place this somewhere where it's safe and out of the way for us to reconnect later when we bring in the new instrument. So probably somewhere off to the left here. Okay. Then we're going to disconnect this connector and we're going to want probably just clear it here and we'll put this also over here so that we have kind of two separate cables that aren't going to get in the way of one another. Does that make sense? Okay, so first what I want to do is I want to lift the magnum st uh, up and out of all ready and then I'll drop the Lucy over in the, over on the side, like over there, yeah. Yeah, uh, that sounds good to me. So just go up with the uh, um, elbow. I'm oh, going. <clears throat> you think the uh, foul map's going around behind that box, AJ, or is it in the I, front there? Like, I Looks think it like comes it under. That way, yeah. that's, that's good with that. That's like good. This black um, spiral wrap is the same as this black spiral wrap. Yeah. So it's going under the left. Hand side of it? I think so, yeah. Might yeah. have to pick up the box and scoot it over. And hopefully it doesn't actually, like, see how our the oily also is kind of buried there, so hopefully yeah. there's not a conflict there that we're unaware of. Okay, well. I think once he gets Lucy out of there, maybe he can pick up the black spiral wrap. Yeah, you can probably lift it from here with a closed jaw, and we'll yeah. see how it comes free. Yeah. Let me know if you want me to move my camera. Yeah, I think it's as sort of far as you can get it over there. If you give it a rotate left, it'll pull the cable around some more out of your way. That sounds like a plan. Other, other left? Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what we want. You flat coil the whole thing like that. Yeah, that looks good. We want to leave this LZ kind of open because I like this spot for later, so. Maybe just get it onto the rock or like a little away if you can, just okay. so it doesn't fall okay. into where we're going to want to land the sub. How's that look? Yeah, it looks great. Yeah, yeah that's nice. Sat up for you. So now I think it, still keeping the connector in the left hand, I'd like to see what happens if we get a closed jaw in underneath this white spiral wrap. Under the white spiral wrap, okay. Yeah, over here. And just pull it towards us. It's going to make a mess, but I think we really need to see how this cable runs in the buried area. We want to get under it from us, point it away. I would think. Something like this nature here, Dan? I would tend to go the other way and lift it up. Oh, okay. You said from us pointing yeah, away. Yeah. That's what I was interpreting. This is what I was originally thinking. Yeah. Yeah. Back closer to where it goes in the mud, maybe.
Uh, tilt up, please, on the camera. I don't want to get into the overhead. You uh, bring your shoulder down, you'll have... Yep. Yeah, so I think what we're maybe running into is that there's a short cable that goes from here into the white spiral wrap like that, maybe? Looks like it. Uh, uh -huh. And then there's a longer cable that comes out that way. So we might need to demate this connector before we do any more pulling. Okay. But that was helpful. Yeah, uh, go ahead. Can I get a zoom on that box, please? A little more? Beautiful right there. Nice. Didn't even look like that was connected. <laughs> <laughs> that could be why it's not it working. Could be. Um, all right, so maybe if we uh, zoom wide, gently pull back on this, so bring the connector towards the porch. Okay. I just want to see how the cables lift. Okay. Okay. That one's definitely got a tangle to it. The connector's gonna get pulled off of my hand. Yeah. Yeah. How how close is it? Like, can if you were to put it down, can will it reach the porch right now, or it's not far enough? Uh, it is over the porch. Okay. If you just put it down on the porch. Can we go out on the porch more? I think I'm fully. Yeah. Okay. You're right, good. Let me try. Let me try. Let me try. Yeah, I'm fully Okay, that's out. no problem. I'm gonna do something very gentle. Sorry. Oh. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Perfect. <laughs> so I think what we wanna do first before we do anything else is get a dust cap onto the that middle receptacle here. So we'll get a dust cap out of the Starboard. Starboard box. bio box. Yes. <laughs> Okay, bubble. I need BBS. bubble. Yep. Actually, go to salvo, uh, sample salvo. Or do you want to bring it up again in yours? Uh, yeah. yeah. It's better. The sample salvo is kind of all over the place. Gotcha. So. Your destination persists, so all you got to do is press your source again. Oh, well. You don't got to go back and select the destination every time. It'll stay on H11. Gotcha. There you go. I'll rack it out. Yeah, you can bash buttons to your heart's content over there, and it'll. That's how I figure out what they all do. <laughs> Start pressing them. Fiddle. Okay, that looks like a dump. That looks like the dust cap right there. Um. Not butt cam, bio cam. There we go. Oh, it's so much nicer. That looks like a dust cap to me. Did you take, uh, are you taking new positions, Megan? This is going to be an uh, interesting evolution. Yeah, good call. I forgot to ask Nav if you could take a coordinate for this aux platform. 
Yep, I did that. Thank you. No problem. It's on there. It's like Thanks, 50, Dad. 50,000 uh, average Dixer. fixes. <laughs> Jake's rock is still there, yeah. correct? Okay, good. Yeah, I think the beige ones are the ones that from today. Nice grab. I don't know how I grabbed it like that, but okay. <laughs> Bio box in. Yeah, sure. What's causing all of this? What's causing all the dust? The dust? Bio box moving in and out. Oh. Thrusters. To, oh, oh. oh. Hitting something. You're hitting that rock out there. Yeah, I did. Oh, yeah. Hopefully, I still got a dust cap. I do. Now, which way is the top on this thing? Hey, that looks like the top. Uh, let's take a look. Yeah, they, yeah, they can go either way. There's a key at two arrows, two keys. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rack out, get you a little closer. Gotcha. Yep. Get me as close as possible. Zoom in, please. Freeze button sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Freeze fail. <laughs> Freeze frame. Okay, you're moving around a little bit. Oop. I'm all the way stretched out. You're gonna have to rack in. I mean, not rack in. Um, push in. I'm gonna pull back a little bit while I push in. Yep. Go ahead. Push in. Are we moving or is the uh, push moving? I don't think anything's moving. Nothing's moving. Can we push in? I'm attracting it. What's this pressure saying? I just push out. Uh, I think we're on a rock or something. Yeah. Okay. Let me see if I can get this thing to go in. No. Okay. That's that's not the end of the world. Okay, yeah, uh, zoom wide a little bit and send yep, zoom right tilt, tilt me down on the camera. Is that zip tie going to get in the way? Zoom wide a little bit. There we go. Now I can see what I'm doing. Yeah, it kind of looks like it will get in the way. It's just, yeah, it's just on the cable there, eh? But it's pointing the exact wrong direction. <laughs> right. Oh, well, maybe that'll help. 
Nice and slow. I don't want to get any more freaking dust because I just created a dust storm. Okay. Dust, dust cap's full of dust. Yeah, I think <laughs> if you can get that dust cap yeah. pointed down and give it a shake, yeah. yeah. Here, I'll tilt up a bit. You know, let's see what you're doing. That's good. I can't do it. This angle, I gotta get a different angle on this. So zoom wide. Drop it on the porch. Yep. Yep. All right. I'll just rack back and tilt down. Give a lot of real estate. Yeah. Now, if I can do this correctly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, go back to the angle I wanted to go to. Get out of the zip tie. Push us forward. Can you like thrust forward, please? Nope. Yep. Nope. Come wide if we're gonna do that, or because we also have that. Gotcha. On the front porch. Can you uh, camera? 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 Gentle. Just careful those cables. Yeah. Okay. Take a moment, set it up. Okay, zoom in for me, camera. Can I get you to follow me with the, uh, a little bit? Will do.
Facing wide. It looks like uh, you've pushed yourself a little further back, eh? Because, uh -huh. like, the cable doesn't look to be on the porch anymore, so... You... Yeah. Yeah. How do you want to reposition, uh... If you want to place the dust cap on the porch and then pick up that connector there, and then I can scoot forward. Okay. Let's zoom wide, rack in. Racking in. Oh. I, the grip lock just opened up on me. Nice. <laughs> uh, watch us not stay there. Yeah. Uh, bubble cam? Can you tilt up a little bit? Because it's right in the wrong spot. I can. There you go, that'll work. <coughs> Just up so that I can. Yep, you can just leave it there. I don't have to pull it out. Just hold it in the arm. Okay. I'll, and then I'll fly forward and then we can put it yep, back down. Fly forward. I think I just pulled it out from underneath the box. for a second. But yep. This. Yeah. So you can just drop that connector there on the porch, like we had it before, and then grab that. Yep. And then keep on trying. Yep. Okay, now that I can see.
Yeah, give me right over top of that if you can. I'm probably right on. No, I'm probably right yeah, in the yeah, way. It's right in the way. But I think I can get it with this. Are you racked in with the camera? I am. You can see it in the HD camera, mate. Yeah, I'm watching it in the HD camera. Well, I can't believe it's still standing up. <laughs> it's like that flipping a water bottle trick. Yeah. It's got a magnet in it. Sticks to aluminum. Okay. Not so much of a trick. Of course, I don't have it uh, the way I want it, but. All right. I show you. That's a good grip. I'm happy with that. It's like a perfect grip. I'm going to rack out and... Yep, rack out and uh, get ready to zoom in. Can you uh, can you porch in now, Jake? If you um, hold, let's on, try. hold on, Danny. Back yep. out of there a little bit. Okay, I'm free. Oh, okay. it's no, not bringing it's me closer. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, it's not bringing the vehicle closer. It's no, it's okay. Just stay where it is. To, uh, um, you'll have to fly closer, right here. It's okay. I think we're close enough. Uh, can yeah, I, I was just I was just curious if the porch works before. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Can I get a zoom in the video? Might need to tilt up. Tilt up. Yep. Tilt up. Take put that connector right at the bottom of my screen. Perfect. Right there. Is that the right orientation for the? Yeah, vertical or horizontal. Okay. Uh, well, if there's an arrow on top, yeah. the arrow is where the keyway is. I didn't catch whether you had it on top or bottom. It's uh, there's a hexagon inside that. Uh, it can be in any f of four orientations. Okay. Is it all four? Yes. It's two. I think you still have that uh, off again. zip tie situation. Yeah, that zip tie is really not in a good spot. <clears throat> okay, camera up a little bit. There we go. Might be too far off now, but. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. You'll have to put a little forward jam on, Jake. Just right. sliding your back. Are you done? No. Trying. It's muddy, so I'm. So I know. I'm I get it. I get it. I'm just. Uh, let me know when you stop moving. Done there. Okay. Ooh. He's got to put a little forward on as you push, Danny, because you just slide yeah. the vehicle back. Well. You let there. go and yeah. then you can push it in from the from the back. Yeah. Oh, popped up. <laughs> that is over. What? Go wide a little bit, camera. Dead. So close. Okay. Nope, I completely under oop, completely understand. Oh. 
still there? Are you there? I hear you. Yep, back in. All right. All right. Where my, do you, where do you want me? Let me my turn to drop it in the mud a few times. <laughs> Forward jam. Uh, and I'm gonna see. Uh, show me the porch there. No. Back back. Show me the porch. Come wide video. I don't know. I, I'm not sure where we are in the zoo here. That's a pro move. I'm happy. Unless yeah. you want me to hop over more that way. But no, I can move the box. And there's, a, there's a rock right there. There's only two holes on that thing. Yeah. Yes, there is. Wherever the arrows are. Okay. <laughs> 